After loading my mower on the trailer, I realized the tire was flat and off the rim. I've never had this happen before, so I had no idea how to get the tire back on the rim so I could add air. After some research, I realized the hard part is seating the tire in order for it to hold air. So naturally, I went to YouTube to find solutions. That's when I ran across this video, showing a guy using ratchet straps to seat the tire. However, after working with it for a while, I realized it's not going to work like this. I need to get the tire off the ground. I either need to jack the lawnmower up, or I need to take the tire off. So, the next day, I went to Harbor Freight and picked up a two-ton jack for $29. If you don't have one in your shop, it's well worth the purchase for projects like this. I've added a link to one similar in the description in case you want to pick one up too. So even after getting it jacked up and getting the ratchet straps back on the tire, I wasn't able to get it seated. So my next idea was to take the tire off the lawnmower and try the ratchet straps again. I was going to try to fix this myself. I thought once I get it off, it'd be easy to work with. But I think just to be safe, I'm going to run it by the hardware store that works on lawnmowers as well. So I ended up going by the hardware store that sells lawnmowers, and they told me that they could try it, and they were going to try a ratchet strap process as well. But they said that the tire shop down the street, which was probably about a half a mile away, may be able to do it a lot easier and a lot quicker, and they asked me to go down there. So, I did. And they used a thing called a bead seeder, which can be seen in this video. It was extremely loud, but it had me in and out the door within 10 seconds of being there. So what's the max inflation here? 46 PSI? The manual says 22, I think. That's insane. So the manual does say uh, the PSI should be at 22 for the front tires, but on the actual tire it says the max is 46. So when he aired it up at the tire shop, he put 46 in it. So I did have to let a little bit of air out. And you won't believe this. After two years of having this mower and no flats, the very next week after having my first flat on the front tire, this other tire has a flat. So I had to go through the exact same process. Um, actually, instead of using the ratchet straps on this one, I just took it off and took it back down to the same place. Uh, they did the same thing, uh, used the same tools, and got air back in the tire. But still, that, that is absolutely crazy that it happened two weeks in a row. And just a quick tip. Regardless if you're using the ratchet strap process or the bead seater process, always remove the stem and the valve. That's going to allow a whole lot more air to enter the tire when you're trying to seat it, and it's going to make your life a lot easier. And both the video and when um, the tire shop did the bead seater, both times they removed the stem valve. So get you a good tool on Amazon to remove the valve, and it's going to make your life a lot easier.